today is 11th of November and for a lot of us it is Remembrance Day or the end of World War I which is the war to end all wars, lest we forget. But in Poland it is the National Independence Day or Narodowe Święto Niepodległości. And the reason for it is because Poland actually disappeared from the maps of the world for 123 years. Now how did it all start? This video basically explains all of that. Um, it doesn't go into the full detail of historical reviews, there's plenty of that out there on the net. Uh, I'll put all the links in the description. But how did it come about? In the 16th and 17th century, Poland was one of the most powerful countries in Europe and the world. It was part of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Uh, and as I said, it was a very powerful empire. At the peak of its power in the late 17th century, this multi-ethnic state stretched from the Baltic to the Black Sea. The map here shows the empire in the 18th century not long before it was disbanded. In 1795, the last of a series of partitions effectively wiped Poland off the map. Naturally, the country and its citizens were still there, but they were part of the new ruling countries that took over, which was the Prussians, the Russians and Austrians. As you can see in the map here, in 1799, uh, by the English cartographer William Faden, the map shows Poland five years after the last partition. The boundaries of po former Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth are colored light red. The map marks the land acquisitions made by Prussia in yellow, Austria in green and Russia in beige. Austria took 128,000 square kilometers, Prussia 141,000 square kilometers and Russia 462,000 square kilometers. For 123 years, Polish people could not call Poland home and they were spread all over the world fighting different and various wars uh, such as the Napoleon uh, era as well. But after 123 years in 1918, Poland once again appeared on the map of Europe. This map here shows the new Polish territory in 1921. That is with the Vilnius and the country's eastern border as the result of the Polish-Russian War of 1920. But that didn't last long. Because 20 years later, World War II uh, became effective and Poland again disappeared from the maps and the maps of Europe were recharted and reformed again. After communism fell, the ceremonies were in full swing again. Independence Day basically meant we had lots of ceremonies, marches, the changing of the guard at the tomb, which I had the pleasure of watching myself. Uh, there's lots of celebrations. It is a national public holiday in Poland as well. Here in Brisbane we celebrate with academia, we celebrate with various musicians, artists, poets, dancers, uh, Wisła Operta with Brisbane. Whole of Australia celebrates Remembrance Day in various different ways, but for Polish people we also celebrate our Independence Day. So I hope this video was helpful and explained a little bit to you. Uh, all the links are in the descriptions. There's some amazing animations out there, movies that you can watch on how this all unfolded. Um, as usually, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. You can sponsor us, our channel by buying us a coffee below. And we hope to see you soon again.